a leading aquaponics farmer in the region is taking community action to achieve a global impact. He's Damien Hinkson, founder of the Beards Village Aquaponics Association. He has combined fish and chicken farming with hydroponics to produce an organic ecosystem. We got chickens, we got fish, we got plants, we got vegetables, we got trees growing all in one ecosystem. Now everything feeds off of one another. The fish is made manure in the water, the water is pumped up to the plants, the plants use that manure, uh, clean the water, bring it back to the fish, and all the unsaleable produce from the plants is go to the chickens. The chickens is compost that and then it goes back into the system. The entrepreneur reaps strawberries and English apples and has plans to commercialize all his produce in the future. Well, recently we, we turned over to doing strawberries 100%, but prior to this we was doing a lot of uh, research and development on uh, independent food production in Barbados. We got English apple tree here growing. Uh, I, I was eating an apple maybe a year ago or two, and when I bite it, it had three seeds growing. So I, I grew them out, I sell two and I keep this one. And we got other trees going on down here. We got the uh, sugar apple, various citrus, dunks, um, strawberry plant, pineapple, grapes. We grow a wide variety of trees. Meanwhile, coordinator of the Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program, Dr. David Bino says the partnership holds tremendous hope for sustainable farming throughout the region. This project really shows that Barbados can create closed systems of agriculture. When I say closed, it means that a lot of the money that we spend on importing fertilizers, that we spend on importing pesticides, weedicides, and the whole like, we don't have to. We can create these things on farm and in Barbados. Uh, in addition to that, it also shows you that although we are water scarce, we can use our water more efficiently. All the water here for this aquaponic system is harvested from the, from the rain. It shows us that although the energy costs are extremely high in the region, we can jump that hurdle by utilizing renewable energy and having it off-grid so we don't have to depend on anyone for electrical um, um, energy. So this provides a perfect model that we can then replicate and scale up across Barbados and across the region. The aim of the Birds Village Aquaponics Project is to help preserve the environment and boost economic activity. Joshua Hinkson, CBC News.